Welcome back to our coin flip graphical user interface. In this video, we're going to create the basic graphical frame for our project. So we're going to create a new file and we will need to import the AWT library and the java.swing X, Java X swing library. We'll give it a class name. And we're just going to make this our runner. We can say GUI runner if we like. change this to this but it doesn't really matter and then we need a main method so we'll say public static void main string args and then we need an instance of our jframe so we're going to say jframe frame is equal to new jframe and we'll put in the name of the game this is the name that appears up here for instance in the title bar of our frame and then we want to create the minimize, maximize, and close buttons as you see up here. So we're going to say frame.setDefault close operation jframe.exit on close. Now we'll need to create a new instance of our coin. So we'll say coin coin is equal to new coin and then we'll need an internal panel for placing that coin um, which we'll just call coin panel and we will make in the next video so I'm going to go ahead and just comment it out for right now but I'll say coin panel Coin panel is equal to new coin panel, and then we'll pass in our instance of coin. And then we will create a J panel and And then we're going to um, set the layout style of the panel. So we'll say panel dot set layout new box layout because we're going to have a panel on the top and then a panel on the bottom for the buttons. And then we're going to pass in our instance of panel and we're going to use the y axis because one will be on top, sitting on top of the other in a horizontal fashion. And then we'll need to add the coin panel. That's going to be the top panel. And later on we'll add the control panel. I'll just go ahead and um, put that in in a minute. And then we need frame dot get content pane. And we'll add the panel. And we'll say frame dot pack. And we want to set it visible, so frame dot set visible. And 
I'll set it to true. False would be it wasn't wasn't going to show up. And then we need an end of main method. And this is our end of class. I like to put end comments in so I can keep track of my curly braces. All right, well, this is not going to work for us until we go and create the coin panel. So again, I'm going to comment these parts out. And um, we can go ahead and add in our instance of our control panel, which is the bottom panel. So we'll say coin control controls is equal to new coin control and then we're going to pass in the coin panel and our instance of coin so we have two objects to pass into the control panel because the control panel is going to have a button in it that will click to flip the coin and so we've got to keep track of um, the coin that sits inside of the control panel. I like to think of this as a bulletin board where you have the outer metal frame, that's our frame. You have the internal part of a bulletin board which um, you can stick different things on and in this case we're going to stick a, um, a coin object on that back panel. And so we'll also need to add the panel, the co controls to the panel. So add controls. Okay, so I'm going to just save this. And I'm going to try to compile and see if we have any errors. And it looks like I don't because I have the right things commented out for now. If I didn't um, comment these out, it would give me an error because it would be looking for these classes, which we haven't made yet and we will be making each of these in a separate video so I will see you next time when we will make the coin panel and then we'll finish up with the control panel see you next time